Sekarang Fred Harrison, you're next. Good luck. Thank you. But I won't need it. Hi, Mr. Harrison. So I'm having your CV right here. Went to Harvard. Um, so can you actually tell me a bit about yourself? Like, who are you? And why should we hire you? Are you? Uh, well, about myself, well, I, as, as it says on my CV, I went to Harvard. I think that's a pretty big achievement in itself. Uh, apart from that, I also won the entrepreneurship competition at Babson uh, with my startup Ethopia. Uh, what yes. else do you want to know? Oh, well, who are you as a person? Like, why should we hire you? Me? Me? I mean, I went to Harvard. I'm not really sure what more. Okay, okay. To know. So we're gonna play a game. Okay. So this game is as following. You're in a room, a really big empty room. Then there's a cube in this room. Can you give me a little description of this cube? Um, it's a bit of a strange game, uh, but uh, if I have to imagine the cube, it's small, shady, and in the corner of the room, yeah. So, so there's also a ladder in this room. Can you describe the ladder? Um, yes. A ladder as well. Um, sure, the ladder is tall, metal, a bit rusty, uh, but it's tall. Yeah, it's big. Next up, there are some flowers in the room as well. Um, the flowers are around the cube. There's many, not that many flowers, but they're around the cube. Um, some of them are dead, but others are still blooming. Yeah. Then also there's a horse in this room. The horse has three percent of these rates. Could you describe them for me? I would say the horse is big, strong, and confident. And last off, there's also a store in the room. Could you describe me how the store is? Uh, the store is big. Uh, it damages. Uh, things are getting affected. Like the cube and the flowers and the ladder. Yeah, that's about it. Well, that was the interview. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, and check your email the coming days. And there's the door you can let yourself out, please. Of the big boy, bro. Who are you? I'm the game, man. What? What game, man? What are you talking about? It's a game with the cube, the flowers, the horse, and the storm. Okay, but how did you get into my house? I don't understand. No worries, man. I'm gonna explain to you. Bro, what? Where? Where? How did we end up here? What are we doing here? Where, man, where man, is man. this? Where? Is this Do Barcelona? Not... Man, calm down. We are in Barcelona, okay? And we are here to discover you and who you are. Let's start with the cube. Bro, wait, not, not again. What the? The cube. That's what you mean, right? Fred, let's talk serious for a moment. 
because the cube represents you actually or what you want to show to the rest of the world the size of your cube represents the size of your ego the position of the cube in you in the room represents how comfortable you feel in sociable situations and a floating cube is a sign uh, of a great of great creativity now flowers look all around you all these flowers represent your friends, your family, people that are close to you. And if for you, those are beautiful flowers, it means that they are worth it for you. Is it the case? Only you know. Man, I, actually, this ladder represents your ambition in life, like your project, what you want to do. And ambitions are here, like, oh, look how great this ladder looks, but it's a bit shaky. And look how dirty it is. Man, you have to work about it now. Horse. And now, man, come the best part, the horse. It's your ideal partner, the one that truly believes in you. Oh, what do you need? Maybe it could be her. Or maybe not. Now, the storm. And the storm, man, it's what, what's wrong with your life, the problem you have, it's all about the storm, that you have to fix, to fix this. If it scares you, you have to fix it. Okay, so I think now you get what all of this is about. The cube, man, is to know yourself better. If you want to really make an impact on this life, you have to know yourself better, like everyone, but you have some work to do, okay? So I think the lesson has passed, uh, my, my job's done. Thank you, Jenny. Goodbye, kiddo. Knowing yourself. It might sound quite obvious to say, right? Well, it's not as simple. Many people wear a mask. Many people do what they are doing without knowing why or just to please someone else. By doing that, their full potential cannot be achieved. A striking research has shown that although 95% of people think they are self-aware, only 10 to 15% actually are. Knowing yourself is key to knowing what makes you happy. Within the professional world, Statistics show that employees are 12% more productive. They commit twice as much time to their tasks and have 65% more energy than unhappy employees. Taking the time to know yourself truly is an exercise in itself and it can be achieved through many situations and techniques like the scene you just saw. Deeply knowing yourself is not only essential for your professional career, it's important for all the aspects of your life. It allows you to be where you really want to be to work on whatever is meaningful to you, with your full potential and pursuing your true objectives. In a few words, truly knowing yourself will allow you to live your life at the fullest. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a thing or two about yourself. It was written, produced and edited by third year students of TBS Barcelona for the YouTube channel of Leon Merce. Please give us a like to show us your support and subscribe to Leon Merce's channels for more content.